Hello everyone, my name is Felipe Sarria. I'm a CAD instructor at Australian Institute of Advanced Studies. Today I'm going to show you another basic modeling technique called revolution. So I'm going to start a new part um, as we did uh, in the late, uh, latest video. And um, I'm going to sketch, um, but in this case I'm not going to sketch a profile but instead I'm going to sketch, um, well, uh, a semi-profile, like, the, the, like a middle profile, and I'm going to use a center line as the base of that profile. And that center line is going to be used later as the revolution axis to that prof in order to, re to make a revolution of that profile that I'm going to, to sketch. So, um, basic... Uh, um, sketching techniques. So the first thing that I'm going to create, it's, um, it's a center line. So it's just a basic, basic line, a normal line, which I'm going to turn into a center line like this. Uh, I would really, mm, um, good practice is to um, constrain this line to um, the center point of my sketch so that way it won't move when I assign dimensions to uh, each one of the, the lines that are going to be part of the profile. Okay, so now um, pretty straightforward. So I'm going to create some lines and I'm going to um, constrain those lines using dimensions to in order to um, to, um, as you can see, <coughs> constrain those lines to the center line. As you can see here, it's a diameter dimension. That means that uh, this is a center line. It's an axis. It's an actual axis. All right. So uh, another thing that I'm going to do here, pretty simple. I'm going to do that. All right. So now I'm sure that that center line, it's just um, it's, uh, constrained to the center point of that um, of that plane. All right, so now I'm going to um, draw another line here, another line, three millimeters line, and I'm going to constrain this line to the center line, but in this case, going to be 25 millimeters diameter. And now I can close this profile like this. Nice. So now I'm going to draw another line, three millimeters wide. Sorry, three millimeters wide. In this same orientation, three millimeters. And I'm going to constrain that line uh, 50 millimeters away from the, well, with a radius of 50 millimeters. And I'm going to close this profile like this, pretty simple. That's pretty much it for my first part. If I make a revolution right now of this profile, it's going to turn into like two concentric discs with a um, hole, a 12 millimeter diameter hole in the middle. But I'm going to keep uh, working uh, in my in this sketch. And now I'm going to um, use, um, I'm going to just draw a line like in here. I don't care really because I'm going to um, give dimensions using constraints. So this line, um, I'm going to constrain that line to the center line with a 36 millimeter um, diameter. And then I'm going to create another line like this. I don't care about the dimension, which I'm going to constrain using this point using a 45, 41 millimeter diameter. Nice. Now I need a construction point. A point is going to give me um, a reference in this side of this line. So this point, I'm going to constrain it using the center line and it's going to be away from the center line 44 millimeters in this case diameter so practically or basically now i can just 
do or draw that line. <clears throat> I don't need the angle because I need I have these two these two dimensions, the 41 and the 44 uh, millimeters dimension. And uh, now I know that this dimension, this point over here, um, it's going to be away or it's going to be 19 millimeters away from the, the from this dimension over here, from the start of the part. Um, and now um, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to draw another line like from here. And I'm going to constrain this line to this point over here, 12, millimeter, 12, 12 millimeters. Nice. So um, now what I'm really missing here is that I'm going to join, I'm going to join um, this, uh, this line here, this line here. I, I will use this reference, I will do, use this reference and now I can uh, just um, I can just uh, draw another line that I don't mind about the dimensions. I'm just gonna use I'm just gonna use um, the the dimensions that I already have, and I will draw a line like this, and so I can make it like this a little bit longer, like this. All right. And uh, I'm going to use a fillet in, of two millimeters, like this. And now I'm going to close the profile using single lines like this. And I'm going to finish my sketch. So now I have a closed profile. Well, I have three closed profiles. This is a closed profile. This is another closed profile. And this is another closed profile. And I have a center line. That means that I have the enough tools of, or the two um, things that I need to create a revolution. Now, if I go to the revolve tool, it will um, ask me to select a profile, as you can see here. And I can select this profile, this profile, and this profile, all closed profiles that I sketched before. And now I can select the axis. In this case, this is the rotation axis. This is my center line. And as you can see, it's going to create a revolution of that profile around that axis, that center line. That's the, that, that, that was the whole idea of using the, the revolution comment. Also, you can select some, um, some uh, you can uh, select the extent of this revolution. In this case, it was a full um, revolution. So it's 360 degrees around the axis. Or you can just select an angle. In this case, it's going to be a 90 degrees angle or um, 180 if you want or any angle. Um, or you can also do it between some uh, reference to another reference. In this case, we're going to create a full revolution. So it creates a whole part. So this is my part done. OK, as you can see here, this is my final part. And it's uh, part of another assembly um, and that we were that we started last in, in the last video. So this is pretty much it um, about revolution and some other sketching techniques. Uh, I really hope that you find this video interesting, and I will see you at the next one. Thank you.